being an artist. No, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. <laughs> being a confident artist. Sorry, I said confident out loud. And I'm British. It's really silly isn't it that us British folk really struggle with the concept of being confident. Any, any creative endeavour is like a never ending puzzle because there's just so many variables. I mean all the stuff that changes. You change, I change, the stuff that we create changes, the world changes, technology changes. Part of being a confident creative is learning to love that flux, learning to love the puzzle. It's a big ask, isn't it? When I started as an artist, I had so many missing pieces of the puzzle. You know, I could create art, but then I couldn't figure out how to get it distributed or into shops or created into limited edition prints. And at the beginning, all of that felt absolutely overwhelming until I broke it down into like projects. So each variable became a project. And I remember one of my big projects was taking a finished piece of art, creating a limited edition collection. I searched high and low for a company that could create something that was as good as one of my originals. I'm gonna go and visit them today. It's Ian and Amanda over at Iris Print and they do an amazing job. Come, come, come on, come with me, just come with me, come on.